All right, guys. It is a lovely Saturday night in the end times uh, here in paradise and the lonely trailer at the end of the rutted out dirt road. It is Saturday night, November 11th, 11 11 23. And uh, so I am procrastinating whether to get up out of this chair, get in my gas sucking truck, and go to one of the right off hand I know within less than 10 minute drive from here one two three four five watering holes uh, Saturday night a beautiful summer Saturday night in mid-November all of the fucking normies are are gathering and so this is my first real challenge since uh, since what since making the decision that uh, I that, that, that what making the decision that I'm backing off a little bit of the doom and gloom and, and trying to stick my little toe back into being a normie. It, you know, I, I, I've been slowly, slowly reintroducing myself to the world of normies. Uh, each morning and afternoon I, I go down to the dock and uh, have very short surface conversations with normies and uh, so now I am facing the daunting prospect of, 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 of whether to go immerse myself in a normie watering hole. I, I actually went on a test run today guys. This afternoon I was I was kind of uh, surveying my choices. So I'm looking, you know, I was driving up and down uh, my new hometown, uh, looking at my normie watering hole choices uh, for tonight. And so I went to this place called Swampies. Swampies. Uh, you can Google Swampies if you want to see what I'm talking about. And so, but this is three o'clock in the afternoon. I, I'm just trying to catch the vibe. Now, I've been to Swampies before uh, several times, but only during daylight hours in the company of other people. I have never been to Swampies alone and I've never been to Swampies after dark, and I sure as hell have never been to Swampies uh, alone on a Saturday night. So I, I, I pull into the parking lot, uh, you know, just, just to watch the normies walk by, and you know, just checking out the the various normies, you know, mostly the the fat, ugly women uh, my age and, and all the little hotties, uh, one third my age. And then, you know, I, I, would, I would see some little 22 year old hottie uh, and, and think maybe I will go there tonight. And, and, you know, and then I would, you know, see that same hottie you know, 40 years in the future, go waddling by, uh, probably on a cane or a fucking walker, if not in a fucking wheelchair, or one of these little electric scooters, because she's too fucking fat uh, to walk uh, anymore, and I'm just sitting there, just, just, you know, with my heart sinking, 
and I was listening to Blood on the Tracks by Bob Dylan. I think, when did Blood on the Tracks come out in like 74? So I have been listening to Blood on pretty much going on 50 years, 50 fucking years. I've been listening to Blood on the Tracks and that song Shelter from the Storm basically about uh, this is Bob Dylan's uh, little ballad little love ballad about meeting his doomer chick forever uh, it's the closest that Dylan ever comes to uh, having a song uh, 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 about a doomer chick 50 fucking years I've been listening to this song guys and I've never really noticed that line uh, about old men with broken teeth stranded without love. I'm sitting there alone uh, in, in my truck looking out at the normies, uh, this old man with broken teeth uh, stranded without love uh, hearing that line for the first time in my fucking life what is the next line do I understand your question man is it hopeless and forlorn and and, and that is exactly what, what it is it's hopeless and forlorn and, 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 I'm, and I'm sitting there in the truck uh, with the, the, this, this, this absolute, uh, you know, wet blanket of, of, of despair uh, descending over me on this gorgeous Saturday afternoon, uh, figuring out when in the fuck did I become an old man with broken teeth? An old man with broken teeth, stranded without love. Uh, I first heard that line when I was probably 14 years old. Not sure, how old was Dylan when he wrote that? 32? I'm guessing is Dylan was probably around 32 years old when, when he wrote that line about old men with broken teeth stranded without love and uh, so I come home from that you know I, I make my margarita and I go down to the uh, dock I'm, I'm too fucking depressed to uh, e even do a, a sunset video and, and like and, 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 you know, I'm there for an hour and probably in that hour, like four uh, old men with broken teeth uh, came in with their boats, you, you know, just, uh, and, and just one after the other, by themselves, uh, out there in, in, in their boats, bringing their boats in and groaning and all of that uh, looking absolutely exhausted and heading for their Saturday nights and uh, I saw one image today uh, that, that was so depressing I can't even talk about it uh, uh, j j just, uh, I, I witnessed something this afternoon, this, uh, this haunting image that I will carry with me uh, and, 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 and until the day I die. Uh, one, one, one j j j just, just absolutely brutal. It, it, it was so brutally horrific that I can't even talk about it uh, on, on, on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Uh, 
Uh, I, I just want to get the image out of my fucking old man with broken teeth, stranded without love mind. Uh, and, and so now I'm sitting here. Now one choice I do have is uh, there are plenty of watering holes around these parts, especially uh, now that the snowbirds are coming in where there's plenty of uh, the, these dark places haunted by other old men with broken teeth stranded without love. So I guess I could, in, in, instead of going to Swampies or the Blue Gator or, or one of these swinging night spots, uh, you know, with the young, beautiful, hip, clueless morons, or, or the goddamn uh, clueless fucking breeders or whatever, I could opt for one of these, the, 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 you, you know, these depressing uh, little roadside, I, I don't even know, is, dive bar is, dive bar is not even, the right word. I, I don't know what do you call these places, these just depressing, dark, just kind of moldy ass places that you walk in and and, 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 and you see, uh, a, a, you know, seven or eight uh, lonely old men with broken teeth uh, just drinking themselves. It, 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 uh, just drinking themselves into a stupor. So I, I could do that. I, I mean, I, I, I guess I could find some, uh, you know, people that I, I could relate to. Uh, so that's one option, I guess. Or I could go to one of these swinging night spots with the live band. I used to play at the at the Blue Gator, one of the big bars five minutes from here, uh, 26, 27 years ago. I used to play on stage at the Blue Gator. Uh, you know, when I when I was in my thirties, when uh, I I was one of these uh, swinging uh, clueless moron whatevers, uh, I used to actually be on the fucking bandstand at, at the Blue Gator, uh, right down the street. I can almost see the lights of it from here. And now I would go to, to the fucking Blue Gator and I would be just, I, I would be invisible. I would be irrelevant. Uh, I, I would be completely out of fucking place. Uh, be sitting there alone uh, on this hopping Saturday night, you know, surrounded by all these groups of people uh, out there with their friends eating their alligator bites and tater tots and drinking their fucking margaritas and their Long Island iced tea and dancing to the... I'm, I'm sure there's some live music uh, that there will be a band playing there tonight. Uh, you know, these... Uh, there'll be a couple of little hotties dancing and there'll be these depressing old fat women uh, sitting there and, 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 and shaking their fat asses. What's that line? It's gotta be jelly cause jam don't shake like that. You know, something about, I, I don't know what is more depressing anymore, guys. It is, what is more depressing to a 64-year-old uh, old man with broken teeth, stranded without love, sitting alone 
uh, on a Saturday that night in a bar where he used to play. Uh, is, it, is it more depressing watching, you know, the slim, firm little hotties uh, gyrating around with their little bubble butts and uh, their little tits jiggling and what? Or is that more depressing or, or watching their reality check uh, 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 of, of these fat, Fading, uh, middle-aged, not even middle-aged. So, mid, yeah, we all middle-aged, and, and women my age, uh, sitting there shaking their goddamn fat uh, on the on the dance floor. I mean, uh, it's just. And so, my other option is to sit here. Uh, with my with, with my thumb up my ass and, and, and this goddamn uh, uh, run down old trailer uh, at the end of the rutted out dirt road uh, turn on Netflix or whatever oh fuck And it's just, uh, it, it, it's just fucking all downhill from here. And I'm trying to find the goddamn energy, and I actually rested up today. I, I did very little work today, so I would be plenty rested uh, and, and, and feel like going out on the town uh, on this goddamn Saturday night and the, the, the very thought of, uh, of going to one of these places is every bit as depressing as staying here alone and not going. Uh, I, you know, I, I'm damned if I go and damned if I don't go. Uh, it, it's, it, it makes no fucking difference whether I, I stay in tonight or head out tonight, uh, I, I will just end up uh, being fucking depressed and j just trying to figure out when the fuck uh, and when and more importantly how the fuck uh, I turned in to a line from an old Dylan song. How the fuck did I uh, be become some lonely old man with broken teeth, stranded without love, uh, sitting in this trailer alone at the end of the fucking road? And here I sit. Oh, fuck. Anyway. So what's your guess moment for the two or three people leaving a comment? Did Hambone go out on the town? Did he rally and go out on the town? Or did he just stay here uh, curled up in a fetal position in, in this beat up old chair? Let me hear your guess. Get out there and enjoy being invisible and irrelevant and if you're not already one turning into an old man with broken teeth stranded without love but I do have a little dog yes little dog you want to go party tonight or do you want to hang out here he said, Pop, I'm very comfortable uh, in this, in this uh, chair. I'm quite happy in this chair. Uh, I see no need to... Uh, what are you doing with your tongue? Are you, are you trying to lick boogers off the end of your nose or what? What exactly are you doing with your tongue right now? Oh, God. What a fucking life. This is it. 
and it only gets worse from here. Bye guys. Maybe I'll go find those goddamn clonopin. Where did I put those? Sancho, where did I put those goddamn clonopin? Alright. Dig out some goddamn clonopin. Where the fuck did I put those things?